involved in showing cattle. I'm the vice president for the Montana Junior Yankees Association and I'm at Heifer Ambassador. I'm going to college for agriculture communications degree and a minor in marketing. We are selling this heifer at the Nile um, Angus female sale so that I have money for college. But then there's also the fraternity to um, help promote juniors in showing. So if I think she looks really good, but some other people might not like her. So my sister will buy her and then she'll show her. But shows are usually 8 o'clock in the morning, so we'll probably be there four to five hours earlier. We get there and we'll bring in the cattle from tieouts. Tieouts is um, straw and they lay in there at night. It's just more comfortable for them than sitting in the stalls. And then we'll pull them up to the barns. We usually tap their heads, blow them off really good, and then feed them first. If we feed them first usually, then they're a little bit more, on show day, they're a little more relaxed because they've already ate, so their bellies are full. And then we'll start pulling one by one, depending on which one shows first, the wash rack, because then they'll come back from the wash rack after being washed, and they'll get blown. So then they get to lay down with hay until about an hour to two hours before the show, we'll start getting them back up, start fitting them. Fitting is with the, um, we put glue on their legs and make their hair pop so that they look a lot bigger and nicer. And then we show. The showing isn't just for fun, it's for a business. You're promoting most of the people that show, they have ranches that they want people to come out and buy their cattle. So when they show and they do well at a show, then, then people are like, well, we want more some of that in our herd. I think our parents had us do it because it was getting us involved in other things. But then once we started, we really liked it. And it shows us a lot of like responsibility because when you're showing cattle, these animals are depending on you. Um, they need to be fed, they need to be watered, they need to be taken care of. I feel that this really pre prepares me for future because I learned so much being in this um, this association and just being involved with livestock that like I did livestock judging and I'm really good at public speaking now for it and it prepared me for all these interviews I had to do, it, it helped me with all my scholarships like applying for them. I like working with her just because she's like a huge um, She's like a hero to me. She like I look up to her a lot as for like everything, and like I want to do a lot of things that she's done in her life. I I really love the Angus Association, and I couldn't imagine my life anywhere else.